Well, now we're on to Sierra. Sierra, we have Alex who's staying with us, and obviously Chef Michael comes into the uh, into the room. Chef Michael, how are you, sir? Flash, I am doing great. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm interested to get your your picks on the uh, Sierra weekend three. Okay, so we're going to go into 1.33, draw 5.5, and Udinese at 11. Where are you going? I'm sticking with Inter here. I said from the uh, first video we did with Syria that Inter was going to be my bet on team for the first three weeks, and uh, they haven't disappointed so far. And, you know, I'm going to stick with them right here. Udinese are pretty uh, poor away from home. They've lost uh, six of the last ten, and... They've got clean sheet at four of those, and that's not going to go well for them going into uh, San Siro, Milan. Uh, Inter's kept five clean sheets at home in their last 15. Um, so I think it's going to be a pretty bad spot for Udinese. Uh, Inter have also a Champions League uh, tie next week with Salvi Prague. Um, but I don't think we're going to see too much uh, rotation from that. I think that... Uh, Antonio Conte is going to bring the best 11 out and to keep keep moving forward in Syria. Uh, they're just clicking on all cylinders right now. Lukaku scored in his first two appearances, and now he's going to get a reu reuniting with his his buddy Alexis Sanchez. And uh, Mario Cardi's <laughs> finally gone. He's now at PSG. I mean, goodbye. Uh, I mean, this guy's got to be the football version, European football version of Antonio Brown, right? I mean, you follow this guy. This is a circus everywhere he goes. And he's already causing a problem with PSG in the locker room. So I think they're going to be better off without him. I uh, got Inter Milan, halftime, full-time at 1.95. I mean, they've won both their matches to open up the campaign from halftime. So I'm taking that first. And I'm also going to take Inter minus 1.5 at 1.99. I was really frustrated by uh, Inter Milan's last uh, last performance, Chef Michael. Lukaku, for me, uh, I know he scored. He scored from a penalty. We could all score from the penalty spot. I mean, he did well to uh, <laughs> lay on the chance that, that brought the penalty. For, I thought Inter would play with 10 men, to be honest. I thought they were decent. I thought they were clean. I thought they were... They weren't much urgency about their game, and it kept breaking down off of Lukaku, who I will go on record now and say he is not a Sierra player. Oh, well, oh, OK, so uh, we'll have a little look at the Sierra bets, shall we, Rafa? <laughs> Put it back up again, <laughs> Rafa, please. Jesus, I can't see things like that quick. But anyway, we've got off to a great start. 77.8% accuracy, 11.3% profit, average 1.83, only four losses from 18 bets. That is top draw, gentlemen. And Chef Michael's gone with Inter to get us off to a flying start this weekend. Alex, Genoa 3.65, the draw 3.8, and Atalanta 2.1. Is that skinny on Atalanta? Woo! Yeah, I don't know. I'm not playing the winner's market here. I'm not. I'm not. This is my banker of the week uh, from the Syria. It's all about goals in this one, uh, Flash. It's all about goals. Atalanta, absolutely, absolutely amazing uh, going forward. They brought in Luis Muriel also uh, together with Duvan Zapata there. They are absolutely smashing. Uh, I hope to see uh, both of them uh, uh, playing together uh, in a couple of matches, but uh, I'm sure that uh, it will not happen very soon. Um, Genoa, an underrated team. Uh, I love them. They are scoring goals. Uh, they are great going forward. Uh, they, are, uh, they, they, they have a, an attacking approach in every match. So... Is the Alex Classic all the way? Both teams to score at the over 2.5 at 1.83. Banker of the week. I'll put two stars there then, seeing as you wanted to say banker of the week three times, Alex. Let's move on then. <laughs> Friontina, 5.5, draw four. And champions elect, Juve, 1.7. Chef Michael, take it away. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... I think Fiorentina is probably a little better than what their two losses to open up uh, will give them credit for. I mean, they lost to Genoa and Napoli. But, I mean, you, you watch these games and they have, they almost have equal possession with both Genoa and Napoli in both those games. And they 
they had many shots on goal. You know, they controlled their position. They didn't give a ball away. They didn't have careless turnovers in their third of the pitch. And Juve, you know, they might have their one eye on their uh, Champions League class with Atletico Madrid. And, you know, I think they're going to concede a lot of goals, like Alex was saying earlier. And uh, on the road, you know, they're they're pretty they're pretty poor. They almost, you know, want to fan them on the road. I mean, they're they've won just three. They've lost four, and they've drawn three across all competitions. I think Fiorentina can get on the board here, and I think Juve can probably get enough to win the game. So I'm going to take a little shot here on a high price. I'm going to go Juve and, and both teams to score at 3.6. Nice price, Chef Michael. Love that. I thought that they might just get themselves in front and try and strangle the game, but at 3.6 and without a clean sheet... You're looking and thinking that, that that is probably the way to go, Alex. That is the way to go. I, I love it. Uh, and um, while uh, our tennis boys are sending you messages on Skype, uh, let's give, uh, let's split uh, this game in two separate uh, uh, bets. Uh, I'm going straight Juventus win at 1.7 and I'm going over 2.5 goals in the match at 1.8. So uh, basically half stake, 0.5 units on uh, Juventus to win, 0.5 units on the over 2.5 goals. Uh, but yeah, I love uh, that uh, Juventus win and both teams to score. Fiorentina are a great uh, team going forward with Chiesa, who renew his contract. Uh, they doubled his salary, not to lose him, because uh, Juventus wanted to take him. Uh, and now um, the clause of uh, transfer is at uh, 90 million euros. Absolutely uh, uh, disgusting, uh, the prices uh, that we are talking right now about uh, the players, the, uh, the transfers. Absolutely disgust about that. And I think that more and more football will become... It's, it's already, but uh, it will become more like a business uh, to, to make money than uh, the pleasure of uh, the uh, playing football or uh, uh, for the fans watching. But we are here to bring uh, value with uh, our bets. So... Uh, not not very interested on how much a team is uh, p- uh, paying for uh, uh, a player. So I think that Juventus uh, are the better side between the two. When you lose at home against Genoa, yeah, let's say that uh, uh, the the lost match against uh, Napoli was a little bit unlucky from uh, Fiorentina. But when you lose uh, at home against Genoa, which I said that uh, Genoa is a, a really good side, but you are Fiorentina, a team with tradition. Viola, a team with uh, results and uh, trophies in the back. So right now you are at the bottom here. Uh, Yeah, I think that they will score against Juventus, but I see Juventus winning. 1.7 Juventus to win, over 2.5 goals at 1.8. I'm glad you finally got to it like that. I was going to like set up camp, but that's leg five of the six-team Euro, uh, European League parlay. Juventus to win away at 1.7. Let's move on. Palmer, 2.6. Draw, 3.3. And Calgary, 3.1. Alex. Yeah, uh, I see a, a goal fest here. I see a brilliant match. Uh, uh, Cagliari uh, coming uh, after uh, a nice, uh, a very, very uh, nice match uh, uh, last, uh, last round, let's say, against Inter. Uh, you said that Inter are dreadful, but Cagliari made them to look like that. Uh, after all, Inter won to one, but uh, we could uh, easily see that end in a draw uh, at home uh, uh, against Inter. Cagliari, a decent side. Parma, the same kind of uh, side. They are really b- balanced there. Uh, so it's 50-50 who will win this match. I'm going easily both teams to score at 1.8. And I think that I have a side bet here. Gervinho to score any time at 2.6. Okay, I'll put little Gervinho down. He might score. We're going to move on, though, Chef Michael. Spool, 6. Draw, 3.1. Lazio, 1.6. Very skinny for the away side. Chef Michael. We lost to Chef Michael. No, he's back. He's back. I can see him. He's moving. It's just probably a dodge connection. No, he's back with me. Chef Michael, did you get them prices? Spool 6, draw 3.1, Lazio 1.6. 
Is that skinny for the away side? No, oh, no, I got 1.7 last night on the Lazio win, and that was a really good price. I'm not surprised that it dropped, though. I mean, there's no need to complicate this one. Lazio, clearly the better team here. I mean, Spall sitting down there in the relegation zone, which, I mean, they're probably going to be sitting there battling all year long, uh, losing each of their first two matches, and you know, getting clean sheet on the road against Bologna. It's not it's not going to sit too well uh, trying to host this Lazio side coming out. Winning their first game 3 0 against Sampdoria. Um, at that thing, I've lost you all the way here. I got him last night at 1.7 when I was breaking down this match. Okay, well, I don't know if you've been uh, listening. I've done a six team European uh, league parlay, two from each league. Number six is just about to come up. I'm wondering if Lazio should have been in there also. Alex, Torino 1.55, draw 4.6. And Lecce, 7.5. Where are you going, Alex? Allow me to have my second banker from uh, Serie A this week. So uh, it's another two-unit par- uh, two uh, bet. Uh, Torino and over 1.5 goals in the match at 1.8, 1.8 with the petty power. I think that uh, I'm playing it like that and I'm not playing the over 2.5 goals also combined because I'm scared that Lecce uh, might struggle to find the back of the net. Uh, uh, Torino, absolutely brilliant going forward. Belotti in top shape there. So this is my second um, my second banker of the week from the Serie A. Uh, Torino and over 1.5 goals at 1.8. And I'm a little bit scared of that uh, uh, Lazio on the road uh, against uh, Spal. To be honest, uh, Spal... Uh, tough sides to play when they're playing at home. Lazio, not impressed uh, by Lazio so far, despite uh, uh, that uh, 3-0 away win against the Sampdoria in their season opener. I think that uh, Spal will put the problems to many, many top sides uh, uh, this season at home. So I would be a little bit scared about that 1.6, 1.62. I think that there is no value in that bet. Well, it don't matter what you think anyway, because that was Chef Michael's selection. Chef Michael, give me the banker of the week, please, mate. Banker, I'm going to go enter minus 1.5. At 1.99. Alex, how many bankers have you got this week in either Italy, Germany, or maybe even Spain? And we haven't even got to England yet. But give me your banker, and if you want, I'll let you have two. Yeah, uh, from Serie A I have two, and from Bundesliga I have one. So from Serie A, uh, I love Genoa, Atalanta, both teams to score in the over 2.5, the Alex Classic at 1.83. And I have Torino to win and over 1.5 goals in the match at 1.8. And from Bundesliga, you already know it. Alex, as ever, top, top uh, class. Absolutely. Information coming out of Every hole. Eyes, ears, nose. Top draw. Thanks, mate. And Chef Michael, let's see if we can get you three out of three. Some lovely uh, lovely prices there. Juve and over at 3.6. Catches the eye. Until next week, gentlemen, have a great weekend.